he's cooked down the onion and tomato and he's gonna kind of push them out and then he's gonna crack just tons and tons of eggs in here. I mean, if you're gonna cook for a lot of people at once, this is the way to do it. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we are going on another fun food adventure. This time we are in Mumbai, India. This city is home to some of the most gigantic Indian food I have ever seen. Today we are hunting down some food on a scale like you have never seen before. Let's do it. Today we're doing it big in Mumbai, India. Starting off with the world's biggest dosa. It's a little unwieldy. Then India's most gigantic non-veg tali platter, featuring over 45 items. Oh, jeepers. And finally, we'll witness the creation of an omelet using 250 eggs. We are here in Mumbai, India, looking for the biggest, baddest food, which has brought us now to Dakshi Nayan, where they're making the world famous, world record breaking dosa. Let, let's go eat it. We're headed into the kitchen to see how this thing is made. Let's check it out. Right this way. Oh, it is busy in here. Right now I'm in the kitchen with the chef, Sarvan. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Today he's making this giant dosa here known as the family dosa, but today it's gonna be made for a family of one. Right here, this guy. Let's do this. This is freaking massive. That's like a meter long. I just realized some of you might not even know what a dosa is, so we're gonna jump to a different location and I'm gonna show you. We are at this street side dosa stand where they're making just a huge crazy variety of dosa, one of which I'm about to get. A dosa is like a kind of crepe, but made with finely ground rice and lentil flour batter. It can be served plain like the giant dosa we're about to try, or with an endless variety of topping combinations. Do you want shredded beetroot? Go ahead. How about potato? We can do that too. Or how about American chop suey dosa? Let's see what that is. So right away, he's gonna come with the batter. Then some cabbage, spring onion, onion. Oh, this thing is loaded up, but so far, so good. And then the nudes. We're dropping some noodles, tomato sauce, Szechuan sauce, red chili powder, taro masala, salt, tomato chutney, and a heaping scoop of butter. And that's what I like to see. A lot of butter on, on almost everything I've seen here. It's amazing. All this random stuff that hopefully together is gonna taste amazing. Let's ask these guys over there. Buddy yeah? Yeah, all right. It's bubbling up. You can see the little bubbles in slow motion right now. It's making you hungry. You're salivating. You're clicking the like button. You're subscribing. This is the most important part here. Yeah. A flip and a chop. And he's gonna toss that right here. And from there, a couple sauces. We've got a coconut chutney and sambal. And just like that, thank you, sir. I'm cutting it up with a spoon, getting a nice big scoop. Gonna put it in our coconut chutney here, one of my favorite chutneys of all the chutneys. Let's try it out. Mmm, yo. Buddy, ah. Yeah, buddy. Buddy, ah. Very nice. But that is a storm of heartburn. I could actually top this with some Pepto Bismol, and then it would be a perfect balance. The flavors are outstanding. Tomatoey, peppery, and that dosa is like nice and kind of soft, bready, a little bready, a little crunchy on the outside. Mmm. So now that we know what a dosa is, we're gonna go back and see the giant dosa. And now we're back. So that's what a dosa is, and this is a huge version of that right here. He's gonna be curling this. Now he's just slathering it with a bunch of butter. That's my favorite ingredient. Okay, so now he's he's rolling it up. Oh, what a move. This thing is like a meter long. He's just rolled up the whole thing. Okay, this is the really sensitive part. It requires two plates. I'm following that guy. The moment has arrived here, finally, this gigantic dosa. This is just the plain dosa, but we've had some nice different assorted dipping sauces here. Tomato chutney, a coconut chutney, onion chutney, and then here, this is kind of a stew, sambar. Or maybe I could dip the whole thing. And this is probably the most practical way. You gotta put it in a little bit of sauce. Is this the right way to eat it? 
Mmm, that is terrific. I got some in my eye. It's like a giant crepe, but more crispy. Super buttery. Oh, he was giving some butter love to this thing. I just wish it's a little unwieldy. It's kind of hard to hold. Perfect, that's so good. Mmm, it's so flaky and crispy and buttery, and it just turns into nothing. You have to be careful with the chutney. Once in a while, you'll get one that's just like pure garlic, and it'll it'll choke you out. It's very nice, light, refreshing, creamy, coconutty. This one I could eat with a spoon. It's so delicious. I'm gonna keep working on this, but let's go check out some more giant food, huh? Next up, the biggest tali you will find in Mumbai. Our mission continues looking for the hugest food here in Mumbai, India, which brings us now to Mini Punjab's Lakeside Restaurant, where they are making a gigantic tali. Tali literally means platter. But when you order the tali, here you get a gigantic assembly of different cups, bowls, plates of all kinds of different foods all together. Let's go inside and learn more about it. This place has food bloggers knocking down their doors. But I was lucky enough to get a behind the scenes look with the man who created this magnificent beast. Right now we are in the kitchen with Nishan, the creator of the giant tali, which is actually called the the Dara Singh Thali for you guys. Can you talk to me about this awesome platter? Definitely. Our giant Dara Singh Thali is basically a 26 to 28 inch Thali, okay, mm. which comes with more than 40 items, 45 to be precise. We've covered different cities, okay, from the northern region, mm -hmm. which is like Amritsar, Delhi, Rajasthan, and you get the favorite dishes from those cities. Mm. Our head chef here is preparing the Murg Muslim rice. It's basically steam rice with a particular gravy which is called as Murg Muslim. So he's just added the chicken pieces as you see along with the spices. So this basically comes on a plate of steam rice along with the Murg Muslim as a gravy with chicken pieces served on top. This, this whole portion will be on the platter? Yes, yes. Like yes. this by itself already looks like it could be a whole meal. Definitely. If you can finish the entire platter, the thali, the non veg dara singh thali, it's free. If I can eat the whole thing, yes. it's going to be free. Exceptionally, yes. How, but how many normal people can this feed? Around four people. Four. Can I take down the whole platter, stick around to find out? Can we try this one now? Definitely, definitely. This is made fresh before our eyes. I cannot wait. So we're going to try some right now, right here in the kitchen. A lot of pressure. There's about 20 people watching me right now. <laughs> Are you those guys over there? <laughs> hey, let's try it out. Oh. That is ridiculous. I mean, just taste the skill. Like the number of spices, spices. in here Correct. that work so well together just to create like a singular flavor. So amazing. And you can see right here, India just has such beautiful, vibrant spices, flavors, aromas everywhere you go. And especially right now in this kitchen. From here, we're going to see them assemble this giant tali. The assembly has begun, but you think Definitely. when it's done, you think I'll be able to take down the whole thing? I feel yes. Let's hope for the best. Okay. And see how great your appetite is. All right, let's see. At first glance, and with an empty stomach, taking down this platter in 20 minutes seems pretty doable. I mean, it's just some different breads, a bunch of curries, and they're all served in these tiny bowls. And there's the chicken and rice and this. And this, I'm not feeling so sure anymore. They are right now putting the final touches on the dali downstairs in the kitchen. We are waiting for its entrance. Oh my God, <laughs> it's right here. It requires two people. <laughs> Do you guys need a hand? You got it? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me get out of your way. Oh, jeepers. Look at this. Thank you, thank you. Wow, guys, good work. The main reason I came here was just to be able to sample a ton of different stuff, but it turns out this is also a food challenge. It's 1,600 rupees, so it's coming in just under $25. That seems like a pretty good value to me. If you can eat the whole thing, it's free. The only catch is you have to do it in under 20 minutes. E easy. The rice here, the rice is the main issue. And then here, there's like another clay pot full of rice. That's not for decoration. We need to eat that. A couple other standout items. Here, we have a lamb curry yogurt. I love lamb, I love curry, I love yogurt. I've never had all those things together, but it's about dang time. So we're gonna see how much damage I can do in 20 minutes starting right now. So here we have a mutton kebab. And if you're like me, I didn't even know what mutton was until I came here. And so lamb meat is called lamb and an adult lamb is called a sheep and its meat is called mutton and it's gonna go in my mouth. 
That's delicious. It's been a minute 30 already. I haven't done anything. So here we have a mint chutney with coriander too. We're gonna put our mutton in there. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is powerful. Fresh, salty. And then this is, um... It's just like drinking yogurt. Oh my God. How could anybody rush this meal? I can't... I just want to enjoy every bite. I do want to try my favorite kind of yogurt here. Of course, it is the lamb curry yogurt. Let's try that out. Oh, that's tremendous. It's like a little lamb meatball in there. Am I almost done? Oh, here we have some fried fish. It's looking a little spicy on the outside, but let's find out. Mmm, gotta wash it down with some yogurt. We've got some delicious bread here. They have every kind of curry here, except for Steph Curry. Is this, what is this one? Is this a hot dog curry? Just kidding. If I made curries, I'd make a, a hot dog curry. Mmm. Five minutes have gone by. Oh, we're getting there. We're really, we're almost done. What is that? Somebody made a drink out of cucumber. <laughs> okay, some chicken. That huge cast iron pot, he wasn't only cooking the bread in there, but he put also inside the chicken. We're gonna put some of the chicken in this chutney now. Beautiful, wow. but powerful. I need to chase it. Cut it with some rice. Okay, this is a soup, but it's in a cup so you can drink it. That's the best soup drink I've ever had. Here they have white butter. I just wanna try the butter. It's so creamy, it's almost like cheese flavored butter. And we're gonna put some of this green curry on there, slap it all together, just get it all nice and sloppy on there. We're gonna roll it up like a little Indian burrito. Mm. Dip that into the yogurt. It's really tasty. Butter chicken, onion, green chutney. We gotta combine it all together. Oh my God. Almost done. Chicken biryani. Here we go. Amazing, it's so fragrant. We gotta, we gotta pick up speed. Oh, and here, they have pickled chicken. Guys, they pickled the chicken. This is bread stuffed with potato. Okay, let's try this pickled chicken. Wow, that is delicious. You gotta drink some yogurt with it though. Look at this, this bread is stuffed with potato. This is already like half a kilogram itself. Oh, there's so much I haven't even tried yet. Put it with the bread. What is this? Oh man, I'm full. <laughs> 1730, it's almost over. Hey, thank God they have a time limit because I want to die already. So here we have kichidi, a mix of lentil, rice, and vegetables. This and a little rice is already a meal. Mm. Ooh, that's like savory, that's like comfort food. This comfort food is making me feel uncomfortable. I'm very full. We have one minute remaining. We're still in the game. Guys, look, I can do this. There's a lot of food. I'm gonna try some of, with the rice here. Mm-hmm, hey, that's very filling too. I tried almost everything now. We have some more fish. Here's bread, a little bit of chutney, sweet potato. That's it, I can't do it. 20 minutes has gone by. Now listen, I thought this was maybe possible when I just saw these little bowls of stuff. Oh, what is this? Is this more food? Yes. <laughs> I want to say thanks, but I also want to die right now. Is this part of the challenge? Yes. They brought in extra six dishes. I like that they thought I would even get close to finishing this. Well, listen, um, we gave it our best try. And so always remember, chase your dreams. Next time you are in Mumbai, why don't you come to Mini Punjab Lakeside to try this whole feast for yourself. It's 1600 rupees, it's under 25 bucks. So even if you fail, you still have enough food to bring home and eat for the rest of the week. That's not bad. The end. This is pretty dangerous, but uh, let's do it anyways. For today's last stop, we're hunting down an Indian mega omelet. We came to our final location, and here they're making a gigantic, basically like an Indian scrambled eggs. Okay, we've got uh, eggs, tomato, onion, and it's like, well, what's so special about this? Oh, I don't know, that there's gonna be over 250 eggs cooked at one time on the skillet right here behind me. The prep is underway, they're cutting onions, they're cutting tomatoes. We're gonna go inside and see exactly how it's done. My man right here, cutting onions. No goggles, no protective anything, and no tears. This is a, a real man. How do you do it, sir? How do you do it with no tears? Can you ask him? <laughs> He's just like, mm -mm -mm. no tears, not since 1984. He's saying it's the destiny. We asked him why is he not crying? He said it's destiny. I like this guy. Tons of onions, like baskets of onions are gonna be cooked and put into the eggs. Let's see what else is going on here. So here we have the tomato cutting. In this room, in the kitchen, they have two giant skillets and it's somewhere between like a wok and a flat top. It's called a tawa. And there's two of them here. As you can see, this is no small cooking operation. Like 
they go big here. So this is like 20 kilograms, like almost 40 pounds of onion and around 10 pounds of tomato, that's what I'm told. And this whole thing is gonna cook down. They've just put in all these spices, chili powder. He continues to just mix it all together. There's some parts of the onion that hasn't even touched the grill. Thank you for having us here, nice to meet you. Oh, this is the owner of the shop. What is this one called? Andabuji. An an andabuji. Andabuji, egg buji. He's cooked down the onion and tomato, and then he's gonna crack just tons and tons of eggs in here. That is some mad egg cracking skills. One handed, uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, oh no, can you get it? Can you get it? Ah, that egg was tricky, I know. The first like maybe 30% of the eggs are in here and he has started scrambling them together with some of the onions and tomatoes. There's still that like ring on the outside keeping everything in. He's created this natural bowl and I believe he's gonna put in even more eggs now. Yeah, round two. Can I crack one egg? Can I just wanna say that I helped, that's all. I basically made it myself. Ta-da, oh again? I gotta try one hand. Come on, get out of there. Bam! Yes! Look at this, it looks ridiculous. Time to destroy the beauty. After the first step is done, he starts mashing smaller portions of eggs. He then adds more butter, spring onion, and spices. You can just smell the fumes coming off here, it's singeing thy nostrils. Then more mashing with fresh cilantro. Finally, it's a moment I've been waiting for. Oh, thank you, sir. But the eggs aren't complete without some buttered buns. We were just in that kitchen for about 30 minutes during that whole preparation. Actually, my eyes are, are still watering a little bit from all the spices and onion, but it was all worth it because we have this complex, yet simple, wonderfully executed scrambled eggs I've ever seen. I'm gonna try it with just the eggs first. Oh, that is, that makes me happy in my mouth. Super salty and spicy. These are some of the spiciest scrambled eggs I have ever had. He fried and buttered this bread for me. That's really how you're supposed to eat this. You just scoop up some of these pieces of egg. Look at that, you can see the chilies in there from the oil, the butter, all of it coming together. Let's try it out. That is amazing. That's, you know, it's kind of a simple thing. You know, it's simple whole foods, it's eggs, it's scrambled eggs and bread, but the seasoning and the, and the care, love and skill that went into it, it makes it super special. Mm. Crazy delicious. All I can say is, but yeah. Oh, so good, it's so good, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is a company putting on amazing tours in Saigon, Da Nang, and Hoi An. I'm proud to say One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, and I especially love their food tour. You cannot go wrong. For more information on One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. So I'm